All right, it's review time, baby. What do we got today? Well, some I found at Walmart. Is it new? Absolutely. It also says limited edition. Anyway, this is the Cup Noodles Breakfast. Keep it Uh, this is a 2.93 ounce container. It's the only size it comes in. I mean, it's cup noodles, ramen noodles, cup noodles, you know, the noodles, you just add some water and voila. Having said all that, we've, they've been around for a long time. We've all eaten it one time. I've eaten it a thousand, two thousand, a million times. They got the chicken and the beef. Shrimp, the chili, they got the spicy, they got oh, a lot, a lot of different versions of it. We all know about it, blah, blah, blah. There's a few different brands of it. This right here is Cup Noodles Limited Edition Breakfast. I believe it's a Walmart exclusive. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm about 80% sure that this Walmart exclusive it says ramen noodles in sauce, maple syrup, pancakes, sausage, and egg artificially flavored. This is very interesting. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be good, but it sounds fun to review. For some reason, let's hop over here to Nutrition Facts. These numbers are based off the entire container. 380 calories, 15 grams total fat, zero trans fat. 1,020 milligrams of sodium, <laughs> 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 2.8 milligrams of iron, 8 grams protein. Contains bioengineered food ingredients, imagine that. 30 milligrams of calcium. It also says no added MSG, 130 milligrams of potassium. Manufactured in a facility that also processes peanuts, tree nuts, sesame, crustacean, shellfish, and fish products. Contains wheat, soybean, egg, and milk. And in very small print, it actually says, contains small amounts of naturally occurring glutamates. Glutamates? I don't know what the hell that is. All right. I don't know what else to say about it. It has the instructions about how to cook it. I'll read it just because it's fun. Microwave directions. Number one, go for it. Remove lid, add room temperature water to inside fill line. All right, I'm about to go do that. Number two, cook it. This is place in microwave center. Microwave uncovered for four minutes on high. Let it stand for one minute. And then number three, slurp away. Stir and enjoy. Cooking times vary, blah, blah, blah. Warning, product to cook will be hot. So you just add some water. It's just like the regular soups. You add some water. But this says cook four minutes. Usually they say three. Who cares? It's in a cup. You just rip the lid off. That's the lid. I'll rip it off right here in front of you. Obviously, I don't need it. And then you got your dry ass noodles. And it looks like looks like little pieces of cereal, Captain Crunch and stuff to roll around the top. That's what it looks like. Anyway, I'm about to go out of the water, put it in the microwave, and let it chill for a minute or maybe two, because sometimes these things get hot. And then I'll come back, and we're going to eat this bad boy. All right, it has set for a few minutes. Let it cool off. I've stirred it up just a little bit. I mean, it smells like pancakes and syrup. It smells sausage. What else is supposed to be? An egg? Okay, yeah. Well, I definitely smell that syrup and sausage very strong. I let it sit longer than a minute, though, because I know better. I got a spoon instead of a fork because I'm an idiot. I don't know why I grabbed a spoon. Anyway, let's do this. Wow. Alright. Well, I ate the whole thing. And I will tell you this. 
One thing that's very weird is that not only does it taste like what it says, hell yeah, but you don't have to chew. I think that's the strange thing. I'm eating pancakes, eggs, and sausage, and I don't only have to chew. It's like, kind of almost like eating ice cream. You just put it in your mouth and swallow it. Yes, does it taste like pancakes and syrup? Yeah. Does it have a sausage taste to it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The sausage is pretty strong. The egg might be the weakest of the flavors, but it's there. Yeah, I'm going to say... To me, the egg is the weakest. Of course, it, it was still temperature hot. Right there, those last couple of bites, uh, uh, they're, they're still a little warm. It's not as bad as I thought. Going into this, I was thinking, like, oh my God, what, you wanna eat some old ramen noodles for breakfast? Why? And I still really don't, but this doesn't taste bad. I, I, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if you're gonna eat cereal or Pop-Tarts, I mean, this isn't a bad mix in there. If you want these flavors, it's good. I, I, I mean, I would eat it again. I'm not gonna go stock up on these and be like, oh, there's my breakfast. Keep it hardcore.